How to duplicate a dinosaur toy using composite mold, a remeltable reusable mold making material that allows you to duplicate almost anything. Start by getting a container for your mold box and covering the original part with a mold release. Spray your part with Bubble Buster to reduce the surface tension so that any bubbles do not adhere to the part as much. You want to be sure to get underneath because that's where we are more worried about the bubbles sticking. Pour a little bit of composite mold into the bottom of the container and let that solidify. We do this so that we can get more details in the feet of the dinosaur. Place the dinosaur on top of the solidified composite mold and pour a little bit more composite mold around the bottom of the dinosaur just to hold it in place. After that is solidified to hold the dinosaur in place, we pour the rest of the composite mold up and around the dinosaur. To reduce bubble formation, we let the composite mold get relatively cool before pouring. We place the composite mold in the freezer for about 20 minutes to solidify, and then we remove the mold box. Because composite mold is transparent, I can see exactly where I'm cutting the line on the dinosaur to make the parting line. I'm cutting from the back because I want to be able to pull the legs and the arms out without causing any damage when I pour in the resin. For the resin, I used Resin Obsession Super Clear Resin, which is an excellent low viscosity resin. I added some orange tint to it to make the dinosaur orange and I used a syringe to squeeze in the resin into the small cavities of the feet and the arms and also a little bit on the tail. Because the composite mold is transparent, I can look into the mold and see where the parts are filled and not filled. Right here I am squeezing a bubble out of the feet and allowing that bubble to expand into the chest of the dinosaur. Almost done, but now there's a bubble in the head of the dinosaur. I'm placing an elastic around the mold to keep the two halves together, and I am going to squeeze a little bit more resin into the head cavity. I'm using the paper clip to pull the bubbles out of the head as I displace the area with resin. You can also use the paper clip or a toothpick to pull bubbles out of the legs or tail. The resin was completely cured after leaving it overnight. It's now time to remove from the mold. and we have our first cloned dinosaur. I believe this is an Allosaurus.
You can now use this mold to make multiple copies of this dinosaur. And what's nice about composite mold, along with it being no mixing together two chemicals, and its transparency is the mold can be remelted to make a new shape. Here we remelted it to make a bunny rabbit to fight against the dinosaurs. Who would win?